Hello friends, welcome to another video of Panda series. As in last video, we have learned about series and how to filter the data. If you haven't watched that video, link is in i button and playlist link in description. In this video, we will learn how we can manipulate the headers or columns of a data frame. So let's start. First, we will see how we can rename the existing column. So like we are using this data Excel file and here it is and we have here name, age, marks and location. So what we need to change. So we are going to change this name header to Avengers, right? So for that, I'm going to create another script and naming it as pandas header, right? And here again, I need to import the pandas module as PD and now PD dot read CSV sorry Excel and because we have the Excel file and give the name of the file data dot XLSX right and let's print this data frame and see if it's working or not so okay so I have not saved this to DF object and let's run this. So yes, our code is working fine till yet. Now, I'm just deleting this. So let's rename the column. So we have a method which is rename and it will take list of headers and we have an argument which is columns and here we will give a dictionary so key and value in the form and the key will be the existing column name and value will be the updated header name so we need to give avengers right and now let's run this and let's see whether we have updated column name or not so I'm going to tell you that it will not show you. Okay, so I have, uh, I didn't print, print the uh, data frame. So let me just print this DF and it will not going to show you the updated header name. So, yeah, so here only we, we are getting the name and here also I'm going to print the same why I'm doing this so I'm going to tell you this because we need to use one more argument in place true by default it is false what is going yes now you will see that here we have the name header but here now we will have the Avengers header so let me just show you like uh, yes here you are able to see that the header name name changed to avengers and here we have the name so why it is not done before using the in place true because by default in place is false and what in place does it will create another copy of original data frame so original data frame is df so when we are not using this in place true and running it 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 was showing the uh, original copy of data frame and which has the uh, header name as name but after using the in place it is creating another copy and with the updated header name which is uh, avengers yeah. yeah here so by this way you can update the header names of any column. Now, I'm going to add one more column to our data frame. So let's see how we can add. So for that, we need to just give another column name like uh, column one and give the list of values. So like I'm going to give one, two, three, four, and let's run it so now it will give us an error 
so okay so we need to save this also so you can save by the same name which is data dot xls or you can say by another name so i'm going to save this by another name and to csv so that i I, I will open it into the editor, not always going to open in C, uh, Excel file. So I'm going to save it. So here I'm naming it add column dot CSV like and now let's run this and we will have an error An error will be something here. So yes, the error is length of value does not match with the length of index because we have greater rows so one two three four five six and we have given only four values so we need to give here six five and six so if we will run this then we will have no error so code is zero now let's this so here we have the column one and value one, two, three, four, five, six. Now how we can delete the column. So for that we need to use just the del keyword and del keyword is from the Python, not from the Panda. So now I'm going to delete column one and again I'm going to save this to CSV and here I'm giving the file name del column dot CSV now and I'm going to comment this and let's run this now we will have one more CSV okay so we are going okay 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 so okay so here we don't have any uh, column one in uh, data so because it is taking the object from data file so we need to uncomment this again and let's run this so yes code is zero now so we don't have column one in our file this is as normal as we have the data excel file right now we will see how to add a column with the values which are depends on some other column like uh, this is the excel file so like uh, we are going to add where is age is less than 25 that avenger is young and which has the age greater than 25 that avenger is older right so like this here we will have the type and here we will have the young or old right so like this we will have the data so i'm going to delete this and now let's implement this in our code so panda headers so we are going to add a column but for that i'm going to create a function get type and we will give the list of values and here uh, if mm, what we need to give okay so no because we are giving the list of values so here values so i'm going to create a loop for v in values if v is less than or equals to 20, sorry less than or equals to 25 then and I'm going to create another list which is type and then we will have type dot append young like this else type will append old right and we will return this list this list sorry our uh, type right so this is the function which will manipulate the data of age and return us a list of having the type 
now let's create the one more header which is type and here we will call this get type and we will pass the value of age and it is a series so we need to convert it to list so to we have a method to list right and again we will save this to csv file to csv and type sorry in string we need to give and we are going to give type and dot csv now let's run this so error code is zero and there is the, here it is and we have the type which is having young which has the age of 25 old of 36 age because it is greater than 25 so likewise we have for the all rows so like uh, so like this you can just manipulate the data of any of the header right now i am going to tell you about the drop method so for that what we need to do df dot drop and now we will give the column name so like column and here we will give the list and like i'm going to drop the age column and print df let's see what we will have okay so we are getting error columns okay so i have used capital c so let's run this again so nothing is happened because we have the age column here so let's save this to an object and let's print this so yes now we don't have age column so what is the difference between age and or oh sorry uh, between the drop and uh, delete so first difference is delete is the keyword from the python itself but drop is a method which exists in the uh, package of pandas now where we need to use del keyword and where we need to use drop so what del does del will delete the column from the original data frame but drop is not going to drop any of the uh, header from the original data frame it just saving a temporary data frame you can say into another object now we are going to see how we can change the case of uh, headers like if you want to change the all the headers into uppercase or lowercase so for that we need to give tf dot uh, column sorry what is happening columns equals to we are using map function because it will take a function and the iteratable list so we are going to use string sorry str dot if we want to uh, change this to uppercase so this is the function which needs to be called on a uh, df dot columns right and again we are going to save it to csv and we will save it as uh, or we can save it uh, headers dot csv so let's run this let's see it should be capitalized okay so this is going to be error yes because we have used this parenthesis now let's run this again and and uh, where it is so headers yes we are getting in uppercase so if we want to uh, give lower case so we just need to update this to lower and run it and headers yes we are getting in lower case 
so friends this is enough for this video i hope you are enjoying this series and like the information if yes please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel in next video we will learn more interesting things of pandas package if you have any query you can comment in comment section so friends thank you for watching jai hind